So, Professor, the first question of this session is that what is the key behind your success? What is the key behind my success? Yeah. Well, that would really be just self-learning. It's really just self-learning, and then I take what I learn, put it onto a Google Doc or a smart board, or the whiteboards and blackboards, really anywhere where I could write it down, and then I try and squash it down to the simplest level where it's understandable and also gets the most content in. Uh, and I feel like I get the sweet spot, that little score, and uh, eat like meter. So uh, I think that's the key to my success. Okay. So, do you remember that when you were taking the award from Honorable Kela Satyarthi, sir? I was there in that ceremony. So, I saw you, but I don't think so that you remember me. And I am the same person, you know, who brought that award to, sir. Oh, wait. Excuse me? What? Yes. And I never do that. That, that. Those are the things of life and... Today we are interacting on this uh, platform and I ask you a simple question that I urge world to move towards practical knowledge. So which aspect you love more, the practical aspect or the theoretical aspect? The theoretical aspect? Wait, uh, practical or theoretical of what subject? Math or physics? In general, like if I talk about physics, then in physics which aspect is more enjoyed practical aspect or the theoretical aspect well the thing is in math the theoretical aspect is much more enjoyable but in physics the practical aspect is much more enjoyable because you know takes up all of physics and it is ridiculously hard to learn yeah and you know oh, since you have a very very deep knowledge of these concepts i will ask a simple question related to our education system that in India we are more focusing on theory examinations merit based scores and then fixing uh, the careers so what is your small advice for our education system so that it improves its quality and its approach towards practicals I think you should have like hands-on demonstrations and experiments I think hands-on however much you could do that it's the best thing you can do. Hmm. So I saw your content and you made a video on Hindi. And you were also teaching some people about Hindi. Uh, so what is your favorite dialogue or you know word of Hindi? Because people want, want to know about that particular dialogue or sentence or the word which you love in Hindi. Well, I'm not really that skilled in Hindi. I really like the greeting word because there's uh, so much meaning behind it. Uh, not just like the religious meaning, uh, like uh, the Hindus and like uh, saying like God uh, greets you, things like that. I mean, not only the religious meaning, but also it just sounds elegant. Namaste. So I really like the greeting. Namaste. I think it's really my favorite word in Hindi. Namaste. So that's, you know, giving a moral message to our youth and this is a, a very very important part of our daily lives and you have given a lot of things in such a short span of time and the guests which usually come here you know they take a lot of time in answering so it tells about your intellect so now I ask something which is very very specific to physics in our country we are actually, you know, just focusing on theory, like what Einstein sir did, what Newton sir did, and we are making, you know, projectiles, we are making, uh, sometimes we are thinking about the theory of relativity. So, what is your intake on theory of relativity? And with a scenario, you know, just imagine, there is a blackout space, and there is a person, you know, we are just imagining, who is... Yeah. Uh, moving with a constant motion and he is observing an object which is fixed so in this scenario how will one person apply the theory of relativity well uh, how did he apply the theory of relativity because uh, in his little void 
about blackness, first of all, he's probably blind. Second of all, there are no signs. There are no nothing to rely on. There are no velocity. There are no surroundings you can use. There are no nothing. So, according to the theory of relativity, he's not sure. Is he moving or is he stationary? So that fixed object to him might be moving. Even though, from the object perspective, it is stationary and he is moving. So, both perspectives are correct. That's really the gist of relativity. Because the velocity is constant. So, he, since he's not accelerating, he doesn't know his velocity is like increasing and that it must be positive in some way. He, he doesn't really know anything. He thinks he's just stationary. So, this man over here observing a fixed object? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know what's happening. He doesn't think he's moving. He thinks the object is moving, even though it's fixed. So, that was a great answer, and it was very, very based on the fundamentals. So, the very fundamental question of our physics, which is asked by every student, by his professor in India, is what is time? And trust me, Indian <laughs> students hesitate to answer this question because they have not gone through the fundamentals. So, what is your intake on this question that what is time? Oh my god, that's actually one of the hardest questions that can be asked in relativity. First, there's the Newtonian perspective, the English perspective, and then there's the German perspective, the Einsteinian perspective. The thing is, I'm not seeing you in real time. I'm just seeing a bunch of a hundreds of frames being captured by your camera. I'm not actually seeing everything that's happening. I'm just seeing frames input in by your camera that move so fast that they give the illusion of real movement instead of just being a rough screenshot. So time, in that sense, isn't really used with our cameras, but more with the real world. And so the Newtonian perspective on it is time is absolute. It passes for the same for everything. If it passes for me, if it passes for this calculator, that maybe it presumably traveling at the speed of light, then it passes the same for everything, or at least that's what Newton thinks. But the Einsteinian perspective, the modern physics perspective, that has a different take. And what would presumably be the correct take? The Einsteinian perspective is where time is relative. And so if you're traveling faster, time travels slow. Moving clocks slow down. Kind of like in the twin paradox. You know, where the two twins, one stays on Earth, one travels at light speed. And when it comes back, the <clears throat> they have the different ages. Even though they were born with the same age. So, to conclude, can we say that time is a physical quantity which cannot be measured? <laughs> to time is a physical quantity that cannot be measured? Well, it doesn't pass the same for all people. In Newtonian physics, when you're dealing with relatively slow-moving objects, then really time is absolute for all purposes. But when you're dealing with fast-moving objects, when I say fast, I mean really fast, moving objects, then the Einsteinian perspective is way better for dealing with things. Okay, so, so now we will move on to the last question and it's one of the most important question of our session and yeah. first of all thanks for taking so important time for our audience and I will ask this question that you know what is your favorite moment and food item so that you know we get to know about your personal favorite things and end up this session with and these are these might be considered as your satakali moments as per the theme of our channel so kindly share about your favorite moment and favorite food item yeah so it was really when i finished doing the love that was a lot of hard work it was also when i well, I'm still in the progress of writing my second book, my niece, but it's when I, like, finish every chapter, I also learned how to bike, uh, and that really was a moment for me, and also my trip to Royal College. So those are my favorite moments, and you said favorite food item as well, right? Yeah. That one
one would be Jackfruit. Like, it's so good. Also, one of my favorite moments would be SPPU. Uh, Safi Tree by Fula Pune University. Okay. Do you know that place? So, you like Indian cu- cuisine? Like it. Okay. Biryani is uh, pretty good. If you I coming, also like the curry. If you are coming to India next time, you know, there is a special present from my end. Thanks a lot, sir. And we will continue to meet. Alright. I think next time I go to India, I'll be staying a lot longer than six days. Sure.